Rachel wrote from public notice. For the past few weeks, they've been treated to cleanse by God knows what. First lady, Rachel Ruto activates good rain and strengthening of the shilling to prayers. <laughs> Nikona kiulizo, ni ulize. Mbuna Tanzania mboe menyesha mpaka ikaleta mafuriko kila mali na beni na kufika huko. Au, labda ni umana, shilingi ya Tanzania iko chini yake iko kwa beni na kuombea. Rachel Ruto also claims Ugandans don't use fertilizer. The land is fertile because of East African revival prayers. <laughs> um, Uganda is a great place for farming. The weather is good, the land is fertile, it rains a lot. The country itself is in a humid equatorial zone. Its topography is good, which makes it a good place for growing crops. But again, if it's prayers and revival, then guys, don't you see the need to make Benin president deputized by Prophet Owal? Here's my question. How does this God decide what to fix and not what to fix? When will this God come and fix unemployment? When will he come and fix the issue with the bandits? When will this God come down and provide money for the doctors? Or oh, doctors, don't call off that strike. Even if it lasts six months, 100% paralysis is what this government understands. If there is money for first lady ministers, then surely there is money to pay doctors. You see, this country is a joke. Even after Larry calls out more comment for the conditions of JKA, his only response was, go and read First Corinthians. What to find any Let us Paul has got nothing to do with being accountable.